So for this program, we are going to compare um, adjacent values in a sequence. So we have uh, the scanner package and object created here to allow for user input. And we'll start with a, an input variable. So double input equals zero. And let's prompt the user actually with some text. So print, we can just say print, uh, enter some numbers. Okay. And it will store that here. Now what we want is a loop. So while in dot has next double, this will run. So as long as the user keeps entering numbers, then this loop will run. We can actually in that indent that here. Makes it a little more uh, readable. Okay. Um, so how would this work? Let's do double previous equals input. Now input equals in dot next double. Okay, so we've established that the previous number equals zero and then it will equal equal uh, the new input on its next round to the loop. And if the input equals previous, um, then system dot out print line duplicate input. Okay. And then why don't we just print here system dot out print line uh, input just to see the number. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. We can run that. Enter some numbers. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, looks good. What if we were to enter um, duplicate numbers? So one, two, two, three, four, five, five. So one, two, duplicate. So that part runs because input equals previous, but then it still prints the two. I think a good feature to have might be to, to add a break statement here, just so it will stop running in this scenario. So one, two, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, duplicate input. And then the program will just stop right here because uh, it sees the two equals the two and the break and then we'll, it will end. It won't compare the rest or the five and the five. Um, so yeah, it, it's just, it's important to note that uh, it starts out zero and previous equals input because there's nothing to compare it to in the first um, running of the loop. But once there's uh, an input established, then you compare that and then check for the duplicate variable. So yeah, there it is.